Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson here again with a new Illustrator beginners tutorial and today we're going to be talking or I'm going to show you uh, how to use the selection tool with an Illustrator. Now this is the most basic tool in Illustrator that you'll ever need to know and it's a great start for if you're trying to start um, using Illustrator and starting to learn it. So basically on Illustrator we have uh, bars over here, this bar, and this is a toolbar over here. And uh, you see what I've selected this thing, it's called the selection tool. If you hover over it, you'll be able to see the name of them and it'll just show you the name of each one. So if, you talk, if I'm talking about it and you can't see which one it is, just hover over it until you see the selection tool. Or you can press V. V on the right hand side of that, you'll see that there's a shortcut or a hot command or a key command. And basically if I press V, if I'm on a circle tool, I press V to get straight to that. If I want my circle tool, I press L to get there. So there's a lot of key commands, so you might want to learn them. The selection tool uh, is different from this tool here. This is the direct selection tool. And this one actually comes out more and a group selection tool. The selection tool, you, you can hover over stuff and click and make a box. Now this is a selection box. So anything that gets hit within that box partially will be selected. So if I select this circle here, I'm selecting just a circle, and then I can go and change it to however I please. I can make it bigger or smaller um, by holding down Alt and Shift, make it bigger and smaller, or I can select another object or another object. Now all these objects are on the artboard, and they're really in the same layer. I'm going to be talking about layers later on in the series. But if I wanted to select two objects, I would just have to marquee two of them. And if I made a mistake, and I only wanted to select, say, one of these objects, I could come off, click off it, and then click and mark here on it again. But say if I wanted to select this circle, this circle, this circle, and this circle, I would just select all these, like so, and let go, and you'll see them. Anything with a blue line around it, um, just now, is selected. Depending on the colour of your layer, the line will be different, uh, the colour of the line will be different, but that is selected. Say I didn't want to select this big one but keep these three selected. I would just hold shift down and then click that and it would select it off. It would take the selection off. But say if I wanted to add it or add another circle in, all I would do is I would just hold shift again and click and add the certain ones that I wanted to add. 